Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, let's just start this one out with um, the NES game that I got. The only reason why I got it is because I'm an angry video game nerd fan. And um, I saw this at the pawn shop and paid two bucks for it. So, yeah, it's the only NES game I got. It's hard to find NES games these days and I have pretty much every one that I want except for a select few. And I don't want to pay more than, you know, five or ten bucks for them, so... Anyways, moving on, um... I got a couple Sega Genesis games at Goodwill. Got Beavis and Butthead. And I got, uh... Sonic and Knuckles. And I think I paid, uh, two ninety nine for these. A piece. And, um, by the way, I'm trying something new. I'm using a tripod for this video so yeah anyways um, I got a couple uh, box games um, one of them was at a Goodwill and it's a uh, Banjo-Kazooie for the Game Boy Advance it's pretty good condition comes with like a poster and the manual and everything and um, I got a Game Boy Advance. Um, a couple days later, at the same Goodwill, I went in there again, and they had this sitting there. So I picked it up. It was twenty bucks, and it came with a charger and a couple of batteries, uh, rechargeable batteries that look like this. So, it's cool. And it came with this case. Oops. It came with this case. It's like a little uh, shoulder bag or whatever. So, anyways, uh, the other box game I got was at a thrift store. And it's uh, Miss Pac Man for the Super Nintendo. And it's just Miss Pac-Man, there's nothing special about it. There's like, um... Let's see, how many levels? 36 levels, so... Just imagine regular Pac-Man with 36 levels, and that's Miss Pac-Man. Um... I got some... I got a Dreamcast game. Virtua Tennis. I used to have this game back in the day. It's pretty good. They've made a lot of sequels for it. I think they're up to number four now. But the first one is uh, pretty good. I haven't played the sequels, so I don't know how those are. But I'm sure they're good too. I picked this uh, picked this up. Actually, I picked these two things up at the at a random thrift store. Um, WCW and WO Thunder for the PlayStation 1. Didn't come with the uh, manual but it was only 99 cents so I figure I'll go on eBay and um, maybe I'll get the the case and the manual or may, maybe I'll hope just find the manual but I doubt it and usually they're only like uh, 99 cents on eBay if you just want to get the manual or the case and the manual without the game um, and then I picked this up it's an extension cord for the PS1 slash PS2 and uh, it works really good especially in the living room where it's a lot of space out there I could just sit back on the couch and play anyways um, picked up some PS2 games so quite a few PS2 games I got Prince of Persia The Sands of Time I got a uh, where is it? here it is Prince of Persia Warrior Within Uh, Jack and Daxter, Beautiful Joe, Kill Switch. Um, I can't tell you guys how much I love this game. It's it's a lot like Gears of War, like a really really early Gears of War. So um, you guys have to try it out if you have a PS2, and it's really cheap too. Um, Metal Gear Solid 2. 
And that was all the PS2 games I got. Now, I got an Xbox game. Halo 2. I actually found this for two bucks at the pawn shop. And it comes with a manual and the disc is in really good condition. I couldn't believe that. Two bucks. And now, last but not least, I have a, a new system to show you guys. So, before I show you the system, I'll show you the games and then I'll show you the system because I don't want to take the camera off and then put it back on or whatever. But anyways, um, this is what came with the system um, for free. I just told them to throw it in at the pawn shop and they threw it in. So obviously you can see my new system that I got is an Xbox 360. I play this game mostly with my aunt and uncle because they, they like golf and golf games or whatever. It's just like uh, casual games. Um, I got Guitar Hero 2 and Guitar Hero 3 for two bucks a piece. And then I got Gears of War Oops, Gears of War 2 and Gears of War 1. I meant to show one first, but oh well. And then, um, yeah, I got Mass Effect at a pawn shop for five bucks. And it's complete with the manual and all. I didn't realize how much this game was worth, but when I looked it up online when I got home, I was uh, very happy about that purchase. And um, the last game I just got today in the mail, and that's what I was waiting on to make this video. And actually, I'm waiting on another game in the mail right now, but um, I figured it's going to have to wait till the next video. So um, here's the last game for this uh, video, and then I'll show you the system itself. Batman Arkham Asylum. I really hate that GameStop thing. It's not even a sticker. It's like branded on there. But um, what was cool about it is it came with this uh, sticker. Which last time I had an Xbox 360, I had this game and it came with a sticker. And I put it on my Xbox and I did the same thing this time. So. So here's my Xbox that I got. It's not the black one, which I don't really care about the color of my Xbox. I just like to play games on it. But um, I did pick up a wireless internet adapter. And it's a 120 gigabyte hard drive. So, well, can't see that because of glare, but you can see the, the silver hard drives are the 120 gig. So, anyways, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Please hit the subscribe button. And until um, next time, later.